What's going on YouTube people? Uh, I want to make a quick video on uh, this is a this is a L92 from my 07 Yukon 07 Cadillac Escalade, same thing. Um, I've done a few of these engines before, and I put this one into my Yukon, and take a look at the valves, uh, the pistons. My valves were hitting the pistons. Everything inside this engine is brand new. Everything, crank, crank bearings, main bearings, rod bearings. But it looked like it was just like really touching instead of trying to like dig in there, right? So the car was misfiring like crazy. Um, long story short, I took out the engine. I had another engine I used that. Um, all the phasers, chains, everything was new. Oil pump, uh, O-ring, pickup tube is brand new. All the gaskets, everything was new. I pulled off the front cover just to take, check my timing marks. Um, just in case if anybody don't know the timing marks, um, this side, driver's side is going to be top. This is the first cylinder here. So you want, I always check this one and number five over there this is one two three one two three four number six sorry six cylinder one cylinder piston is at top six is at top that's top dead center that's how i check it a little bit of overkill if you ask me but um and right here you're gonna see Right here, you're gonna see that arrow right there on that phaser. And then if you look down behind there, you can see the gear for, you can see the gear, the sprocket, the cam sprocket. Let me see if I can zoom in a little more. There you go. You see the little hole, that little dot down there on top of that, on the side of that tooth. It lines up with that, with the circle right there, with that circle. So that hole right there. So you look at that top arrow on the phaser, that top arrow will be facing straight down on that hole. And then the bottom dot on that cam sprocket, see the hole, is going to be facing up to that hole. So they, they kind of like looking at each other. So I took out the valve, I, I took out the timing cover two times just to check my timing marks. Because I know when you got the, the valves hitting the pistons, it has to be m most likely a timing issue. Um, like I said, I took off the cover two times, marks, the timing marks and everything was matching up perfectly fine, right? So I decided to just take everything apart. My problem was, and I'm still thinking this is what it is because I haven't mounted the engine back on yet. So this, uh, this bolt, this is, this is like an oil feed bolt too. Oil flows through inside of here. Um, when I went to go take it off, that that bolt wasn't tight. I might have touched it, put it, you know, hand tight, but that was not tight. Um, one of the symptoms when I did I did get when I first started the truck when I dropped the motor in, the oil light was on. I seen the oil light was on, and I was kind of like scratching my head, how could the oil light be on? All the seals, the pump is new, everything was new, so, and it, I had the proper amount of oil, so I, I was kind of always scratching my head why the, the, the oil light was on. So anyway, a uh, bunch of, a lot of headaches later, when I went to go take this all out, I didn't want to take all this out, that bolt was loose. So took it out, I looked behind the cam, behind the cam phaser, 
where there's a dowel pin on the camshaft. I think I got an old camshaft right here. This is the, the pack of the new one. This is the new camshaft that I ordered for that L92 from Summit Racing. No, not Summit Racing. I take that back from Rock Auto. Shout out to Rock Auto. They gave me a warranty. This is the original camshaft from the, my Escalade. It's not in bad shape. But this dowel pin, this is not the camshaft. This bad. I already sent that back. That dowel pin right there. See that nipple sticking up? That nipple was kind of like grazed down halfway, like barely sticking up. So that, that dowel pin goes in the back of his phaser. There's a little hole. That, that dowel pin goes inside of it. And then there's two little extra holes where the oil flows out uh, into the cam that way too. So the back of the cam, when I looked at it, it has like a little hole like this where that dowel pin goes in. It's supposed to be flat like this. That guy's a hole and then the rest of it is flat with two other holes, right? So that dowel pin that I just showed you on the camshaft, since this bolt was loose, it was just, it got it came loose a little bit. And that dowel pin just came out of the hole and it started like eating around uh, the back of the camshaft because it left a nice groove size behind there. So even though this phaser was brand new, th there's no way I could have used that phaser no more. So not only did it chew down the, 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 the dowel pin on the camshaft, it also made a groove on the back of the phaser. So that thing was like 300 and change. This was like 130, 100, around 130 dollars. So I had to, I had to reorder those. Um, and that's why I'm saying, I'm guessing that's what the problem that I was having, why I was hitting, my valves were hitting the pistons. And um, these are some of the valves. Well, these are all the valves. You know, some of them bent. Most of them bent. Most of the valves bent. I think like two or three of them didn't bend. Then, then none of them broke off. And I think I got one of these rods. These are just extra parts from other heads that I have. I think I put it in here. Anyway. Um. Maybe he's over here. Oh, these are the new. These, the, the, I have bought these new. That goes there. None of these got bent. Thank God, only one of them had got bent. And oh, matter of fact, it's back here. That's the one. That's the only one that got bent. That's the only one that got bent out of all of them. So, you know, I checked these, none of them got bent, so, thank God for that. So, I had gave up a little bit on this engine, but I had spent a lot of money. Lifters are brand new. I had spent the pistons, these are 20 over, um, that I bought this, I bought this engine, it was, it was bad, so, I had to bore over, go 20 thousandths over on the, on the bore size get oversized pistons um i spent a lot of money i spent like a little bit over two grand buying everything for this engine even the motor mounts i bought them brand new everything everything brand new uh internally even the the rockers even the the bracket that it goes on so um i will give an update if anybody wants to know I should have this in in a week. Within, within this week, I should have this already in there running. So, I'm pretty sure that was what my problem was. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's what my problem was. Uh, why my valves were hitting um, on, that, on the pistons. Couldn't really find too much info. Everybody was saying timing, timing, timing. I'm like, that's, this is not my first timing job. So that's why I had took the cover off two times. Um, 
but it was a pain in the ass for me to put it back because every time I try to put it back, if you push it in, it's going to push the cam in and uh, the, the, the dowel pin is not really going to be inserted. So every time I try to tighten the bolt, the cam was moving. You don't want the cam to move when you set it. Uh, set it in timing. You put the cam, you want to make sure that that dowel pin is behind here. Don't think it's in there and start ramming stuff down. Um, because even though this ain't my first one, it took me like 20 minutes, believe it or not, to get this sucker to stay in place with the cam. Um, like I said, because if you push when you if you push this on there, push it in, and you think it's not gonna the dowel pin is not gonna engage inside the hole. When you when you put this on, line it up, when you put the bolt and tighten it up, the bolt is gonna pull the cam to the phaser. So just keep an eye on that. I don't know why I had so much trouble doing this one, but um, I'm kind of happy that I caught that and I figured it out because I was I was literally about to give up on this and I've had this engine's been sitting for months because I had just given up on it. But I guess I was just being lazy and didn't want to, you know, take everything apart because I already had took out the harmonic balancer twice. And that's not a fun job to take out when I got those shitty pullers over there. So I had a little bit of time. I was like, you know what, let me do this. Let me just take this all apart and just check it. And I'm, I'm happy that I did because this, this bolt was loose. You know, even though I've done a couple of these, I've rebuilt a couple of these, just because I missed tightening down this bolt, gave me a lot of extra work and headache. Wasted a lot of time. Um, Always double, triple check your work, especially when you're bolting stuff down. Um, hope this helps out anybody. This kind of having maybe or ran into this or is having this type of issue. Uh, peace out.